okay this is the final uh, video I'm making for a while so this is a um, piece of code where it basically creates a grid system for you so those of you that are doing on a maze traversal algorithms lengthens and anything like that where this might be useful um, basically I've created it so it makes every grid so it segments up your uh, screen into objects um, and each one of the object forms a grid and then you can just click on these objects and choose between if you click on them twice they change colour to green, once blue or three times it goes back to red um, it's quite a basic bit of code but you can dynamically change the uh, how, what your grid segments are, you could ask the user to input them you could change the screen size and it should be dynamic um, and it will just separate out for you okay uh, so to explain it we first off need our um, we've got some colors up here in the dictionary it's a much nicer way of storing them than um, some of the other ways we're having loads of variables uh, dictionaries is something to make your code look nicer you'll get your head around I think they're very useful um, we've got a block class with a constructor that takes a couple of properties of uh, it notices sprite as well um, and it takes a couple of properties, I won't go through all of them, but they should be relatively um, easy compared to the last few videos you've done. You've then got a screen size, and, and then you, you set that as the, the display size for Pi Game. You've got grid segments, which we're going to use. Um, da -da -da, there's nothing new there. The block list, nothing new there, it's just a sprite group. And then here, so we've got a column and row which we're starting at zero um, so for i in range so grid segment high times grid segment wide so if uh, basically this is going to loop 100 times at the minute because mine is set at 10 by 10 um, if column times um, right so if column times the uh, left point of size divided by grid segments wide so if column times uh, grid segments, the size of position 0 is 500, divided by 10 is 50. So if column times 50 is greater than the size at 0, time, uh, minus the size of 0 divided by grid segments wide, it needs to increase the row. All right. So it's trying to work out uh, whether it needs to move on to the next row or not okay so um, as it goes across and builds the blocks it will detect when it's going over the screen size and then it will move it down one onto the next row because it will increase the row um, by the height of a block okay so this will loop through and basically work out the x and y positions once it's done that it will say x position equals uh, column times the size of position 0 divided by uh, grid segments wide so obviously like if it's 50 and columns at 0 it will be 50 if columns at 1 it will be um, sorry if columns at 1 times 50 is 50 0 will be 0 2 times 50 will be 100 etc etc and once it's done it will increment column by 1 and then it adds the block so it will work out basically the position at which your block needs to be and then it will add the block to the sprite group with um, the x and y positions once they're calculated okay um, then inside the main loop and um, if it detects a mouse button and it's the left click which is one it will loop for each block work out which one you clicked on and it will say block dot animate equals true I don't think I use that in the end but I was going to do some animation with it and um, and then if the color of the block is red I'm changing it to blue and then filling it if it's blue I'm changing it to green then filling it if it's green I'm changing it to red then filling it and all I do is I fill the screen black to clear everything 60 times a second and then draw all my blocks again okay um, so really it's only that bit of code that's uh, really useful it's very similar skill to what I used in my keyboard uh, code from a while ago for doing the um, you basically choose how wide something you want something how high and it will do the rows and the columns for you um, yeah you can tell look it's very similar because my caption is still on an Enigma fundamentals, so I obviously adapted my keyboard to create this grid. Now it's very rare you find a program that starts from scratch when you know you've done something similar before. Okay.